Hey friends, welcome back to another video. So today I want to show you guys how I got this lock hairstyle. You guys requested me to do a lock hairstyle and here is it. Here it is. Here is it. Here it is. <laughs> so this is a um, two strand twist or rope twist as well as a lock knots on the end. Um, I'm probably going to leave it like this for a little bit. And yeah, so if you guys want to see this video, make sure you keep watching. Why don't you get it by now? Tell me what you learned in grade school. Give it to me like you want it. Did you forget that golden rule? Okay, guys, so I am going to do a little bit more in the back, and then I'll show you exactly the method that I'm using so that way you know exactly what to do whenever you're doing your own hair rather than just showing you guys this one actually be a tutorial breaking down exactly what I'm doing so that way you can have success when you're doing this hairstyle so I decided that I'm going to do twist as well as well I should say rope twist and lock knots and the reason being is because I want my retwist to last at least five weeks I try to retwist my hair every four to five weeks because honestly, like I, I personally, I'm learning that I can't go past that because my roots are so thick and then it starts intertwining and I hate popping like my roots. Can't stand it. Hey guys, so, so I use the Pure Lock Gel. You guys already know. This is my holy grail. 20 bucks on Amazon for a small little container, but honestly, it's worth it. And then I'm going to be using some um, rubber bands and then I have just four clips here. You don't really need a lot of clips because you're not really going to be using them much. Yeah, so let me finish the back a little bit more and then we're going to jump right to the front. Okay. So we're going to grab two more. And I'm going to definitely want to do two. If you have like an odd number of locks, you will know. I do, so I always do three like in the back only one time because I have 103 locks so um knowing that I like to make sure that that's in the back so that way I'm not like over doing it in the front because I don't want any bulky ones to be in the front So depending on the direction of how your locks are retwisted, you want to make sure that you are still twisting your hair the same direction that your lock is twisted, okay? So I am taking each lock. I'm twirling this one this direction and then I'm taking this one going towards the back. It's kind of like if you were to be doing like single lease twists. It kind of has that same effect, but you have to make sure that you are following the direction of how you want to make sure that you're following the direction of how your actual lock itself is twisted because you don't want to you don't want to twist it the opposite direction. And then from there you can kind of just start twisting it. You can go, like twist it within itself if you want like this or you can just twist it. It's totally up to you, but I do recommend that if you twist it like that, one direction this way, the other direction that way and keep doing it that like that it will be a lot tighter I'm not sure if you guys notice but a lot of times when people have their um, their rope twisting you can notice that they're like super tight and they almost look like singly twists that's why because they're twisting within themselves versus just going along and doing like a regular traditional two strand twist so just keep that in mind um, but yeah that's the only important thing is that whenever someone even a stylist is doing your hair you want to make sure that they're they're twisting your hair the same direction or you want to make sure that they're retwisting your hair when it comes to rope twist the same direction as your natural lock okay if they're doing it the opposite direction it's not good because obviously they're just going to be unraveling your lock and who wants that and yeah you don't want to like train your locks to do something that they're not supposed to do so here we are i'm going to add again my rubber band. I'm sorry, y'all. I keep getting hair in my mouth. 
I guess for me grabbing the under rubber band. I want to wrap it three times. Grab my lock. And then I'm going to start retwisting the lock downwards. Oh, actually, I'm going to have to bring it down a little bit more. Just kidding. Because you want to make sure you have enough room to twist the lock within itself. Put it through the hoop. Close it. And then wrap the rubber band twice. Don't overdo the rubber band because you don't want to cause too much friction when it comes to your natural lock. Obviously, this is a nice style for locks, but you don't want to damage your locks in the process. But I ain't sober, I'm still drunk. That's hangover. Might run it back when this page over. You the best thing. I done slaved over. Gone arch you back and been way over. It's overdue for that under stressing. Over him now you under dressing. Call me up and I come finessing. Like, ooh, we shot it. What it do, what it don't. Baby, you a queen, you can move how you want. Alrighty, so I have finished them. I hope they don't look silly. I don't know. Maybe because I don't have my makeup on. I'm going to put my makeup on and see if I like it then. I think I'm just not used to my hair being this short anymore. <laughs> yeah, so it looks kind of weird. But I kind of like it like messy. Like maybe like some more on one side. No, that looks stupid. I don't know how I feel about it. Do you guys like it? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I mean, regardless, it's gonna stay in my head because I'm not, I ain't spent, it's almost two o'clock. So it's 1.40, I started at 10. Well, I washed my hair too. Yeah, I started my hair at 10. So 11, 12, one, one hour, uh, three hours and 40 minutes. That's a long time. Yeah, he sets my body in motion. He just, he knows Is there like a mirror? Oh, found out what it was. I'm like, something's reflecting. Running on a hamster wheel, but searching for something I can't feel. I just want out. 